Have you ever been somewhere where you kind of feel like you don't fit in? Maybe your buddies used to take you to parties and you'd hoped that it would be a great place to meet girls, but after being there for only a few minutes, you realize that it simply wasn't the place for you. Maybe you feel like everyone else is playing a game and you don't want to play it, or at least not the way that they're playing it. In this game that we call life, there are different types of myth, and one of the rarest types out there is the Sigma myth. There's one really effective way to know, once and for all, if this is truly your archetype. And once you know the truth, you will be able to unlock your true abilities and a level of confidence that you never even knew that you had. But why do we need to know what type of guy we are? What is the purpose of aligning with a certain character or a certain type of man? And the answer is because it's the only way to truly unlock your hidden strengths. The only way to become a hundred times more attractive. And it's one of the only things that will allow you to play to your strengths while at the same time crushing your weaknesses. Now one of the most annoying dogs by far is the Chihuahua. With an average height of no more than one foot, these little dogs simply don't have the bulk to back up most of the threats that they make yet they still continue to make them over and over and over again. Anyone who has ever seen a little dog knows that many of them have a very loud, obnoxious bark, and what they lack in size, they attempt to make up for with their bark. But at the end of the day, they are still just small little dogs, and although they will bark at dogs five times their size, they can never really back up the threats that they make. Now, if you look at a large dog, such as a pit bull or a German Shepherd, and watch how they act around a small dog, it is always the same outcome. The little dog will constantly try to challenge the big dog, despite the fact that the big dog is several times his size. And what ends up happening in pretty much every situation is that the big dog reacts with silence and patience rather than aggressive barking. And the reason for this is because the big dog knows that he could put the small dog out in seconds without much effort at all. And with this strength comes an incredible level of power and confidence. Oftentimes, the big dog will allow the little dog to run through his routine of barking extra loud and acting like he is going to attack. And the little dog might even nip the legs of the big dog, but the big dog will always remain silent and always remain patient because he knows that he does not have to prove himself. Now the Sigma male in many ways is like the bigger dog. And what's really amazing about the Sigma is that what other people mistake for weakness is actually an enormous amount of strength. Many guys out there align perfectly with the Sigma, yet they spend most of their time playing in the Alpha's environment. If large parties are not environments where you thrive, which is often the case with the Sigma, then why would you try to meet girls at large parties? If you're currently working a job that causes you to interact with people all day when you're the type of person whose strength is working alone, then why would you keep working that job? People often look at a Sigma male and come to the false conclusion that he is weak, or they tend to write him off in the same way that a little dog acts as if the bigger dog is beneath him. One of the greatest gifts of the Sigma male is intelligence, and although he might not have the best social skills, there is a double edge to every sword. Whatever it is that you lack in one area, there's another aspect of you that is designed to counter that weakness. A lot of guys don't have the best social skills in the world, but they're so incredibly smart they don't necessarily need to be that social. Something that people always say is that the squeakiest wheel gets the oil. What this means is that the loudest, most obnoxious person is typically the one who gets all of the attention. And looking at a little dog barking at a bigger dog, you might actually believe that he could take on the bigger dog. So many people in this world are pretending to be somebody that they are not. And by doing so, they are severely limiting what they are truly capable of. Everywhere you look, the world is filled with little, loud, obnoxious dogs, both literally and figuratively speaking. And you have to ask yourself, do I want to be one of those? Or do I want to align with what I truly am and take full advantage of my strengths? So how do you know if you're truly a single or if you're actually a better fit for some other archetype? All over the world, you constantly have people who are trying to compensate for what they lack. Poor people are always buying things that they can't afford just to project the image of being rich. And at the end of the day, all of these people are doing themselves a huge disservice because they are not aligning with what they truly are. So what is the number one thing that can help you know once and for all if you are truly a Sigma male so that you can fully align with that character? Or what is the one thing that the Sigma male does that makes him different from everybody else? What you have to ask yourself is, are you a big dog or are you a little dog who thinks that he needs to prove himself to everybody around him that he's a big dog? The number one thing that makes the Sigma male different and the number one thing that sets him apart from the Alpha, the Beta, the Omega, and so on is the absence of the need to prove himself. Men who are really good at fighting will rarely talk about how good at fighting they are, and if somebody challenges them, they will respond with silence and patience because they know that they are the bigger dog, and they know that they don't need to prove themselves. 
all around the world, you have people doing the most ridiculous things for the sole purpose of proving themselves to other people. People buy expensive things to prove to everyone that they are rich, or they walk, talk, and act like they're super tough just to prove to everybody that they are tough, when in reality, they're none of these things. But what if you stopped trying to prove yourself to everyone around you? What if you decided that the only person that you need to prove yourself to is yourself? If you're the type of guy who doesn't go to parties just to look cool, then you're probably a Sigma male. If you're someone who doesn't always fit in very well with other groups of people, and you could really care less about whether or not you fit in, then there's a good chance that once again, you are a Sigma male. The constant need to prove ourselves to other people can completely destroy our life. And it's precisely what stops so many of us from achieving the things that we want to achieve achieve in our life. Whenever a girl doesn't like us, we just assume that it's because we didn't do enough to prove to her that we are a good catch. Whenever someone tries to fight us and we react in an aggressive, unstable way, it is because we think we need to prove to them that we are tough. Many of the biggest problems that we face in the world today are simply the result of one or more persons trying to prove to other people that they are better or that they are smarter or that they are more powerful. And at the end of the day, the only person a Sigma male ever feels the need to prove himself to is himself. The difference between the Sigma male is that he knows deep down that he is the bigger dog. When he's around girls, he already knows that he is a good catch, so therefore he does not need to prove himself. The Sigma male is pretty much a big dog in a little dog's world, and he's okay with that because while all the other little dogs are barking as loud as they can, he is quietly and confidently getting exactly what he wants. And you can do the same. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.